Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. This is Excel Spreadsheet Lesson 6, Picture Graph. What we're going to do is take this information very simply, and we are going to make a picture graph with it. You'll notice that for brown, we use obviously brown M&Ms, red, yellow, blue, and green. Very simply done. Now the directions will tell you exactly what to do. However, what I'm going to do is open up a spreadsheet and step you through it. Obviously, sometimes if you don't do this often, you have a tendency to forget. So this video and this example will permit you to come back to it time and time again. Let's look at the first part of this session. Let's do first what some people might call housekeeping. I'm going to click on page layout and page setup, then header and footer, custom header, and what you will do is type your name on the left and on the right. Let's put in today's date. That's this one and hit your space bar and the time. Now, so we have today's date and time and simply click on OK and OK again. Now, let's make our graph. To do that, I'm going to place the cursor in cell A2, as you can see. Hold down my left button and highlight all the way down to cell B6. Upon doing so, I now will go to Insert, Column, 3D, and here's my 3D cylinder. It's on two pages because you have this one line here. So I'm going to slide this over and place it right about here. Now, in a picture graph, we want to make these pictures. So to do that, if I click one time, you'll see everything is highlighted. I must click a second time. Now only the first column is highlighted. I'm going to right click, format, fill, picture, file, and I have already gone to an area where I know I'm going to use brown, so I click on the brown one and click on insert. Upon doing so, what I need to do, you'll see it's one large m and I'm going to click here, stack to scale. We obviously don't want 20 M&Ms, so we want each M&M to represent 10. So if we have 20, that means there should only be two M&Ms. I'm going to hit close and right. We have 20 M&Ms, but there's only two. Okay, let's look at the red one. Same basic procedure. Click here, so only this is highlighted. I'm going to right click, format, and upon doing so, I click on the word fill, and then I click on picture, file, and click on red, and insert. And again, what we want to do is adjust the uh, number of M&Ms represented here. To do that, we simply hit apply. And instead of having 30 M&Ms, we want each M&M to represent 10 and click on OK. So when I do that, there should be three red M&Ms, and there are. Repeat this same procedure for the other two. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that we have yellow, which is 10 M&Ms, so it's one. Blue, which is five, so this one is cut in half. And green is eight, so it's a little bit more, right? So this is called a picture graph, and you can do this with just about anything you want. Let me point out one other interesting concept, and that is this. Now, by placing this underneath the spreadsheet up at the top, we're only going to be on one page. However, watch what happens when I click on uh, Page Setup, Print Preview, and you'll notice we have the whole thing. Here's my name, here's grade 8, the date, and the time. Let's go back. If I click, it's called embedded. The spreadsheet is now, or the chart is embedded into the spreadsheet. If I click on the chart by itself, watch this. I click on page setup, print preview, and this time you only see the chart, which is not good. You may want to do that at some point in time, but not in this class. I'm going to hit escape. So make sure you click off the chart 
so that the chart is currently embedded into the spreadsheet. Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you for watching.